Hey guys, um, my name is Emily. Um, I'm a mom of a two year old. We live in Manhattan, Upper East Side. And uh, I want to share a little bit of experience with this quarantine coronavirus thing with you. So like, um, I want to make this video about like grocery shopping in uh, Manhattan. Like usually I go to four stores. It's uh, uh, Costco, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods and um, um, a Russian Ukrainian store called Netcost. But that one got off my list because it's kind of far away from where we live and um, the area where it's located is like right now on the map uh, with all the virus cases it shows like it's like one of the hotspots for the virus thing so obviously I'm not going there uh, so I guess we will be surviving without like Ukrainian food for a while well I can make something from scratch so that's fine uh, but uh, like in this video I want to insert like um, the like I went to the store on I went to Whole Foods on Saturday f to get a lot of groceries because uh, we were completely out of stuff but and then uh, I sent yesterday on April 1st I sent my husband to Trader Joe's um, and um, I like he made a little video of like what the lines were like there and like that they had food in store. So here is me standing in line of Whole Foods. Um, I was waiting for to get in for 10 minutes, so it wasn't bad. The only bad thing was it was a rainy day. Um, and but the line, honestly, 10 minute line is not that terrible. Um, then on the windows, they posted these um, two lists. It was two lists of stuff that is um, you are not allowed, like portioning lists and like you're not allowed to buy more than a certain amount of things so here are the photos of those things <laughs> you can't buy more of uh, but other than that the store was fully stocked um, certain brands obviously are missing but they even had toilet paper not too much of it but like a couple of rolls obviously it was the limited amount how much you can take um, I took only, I, I didn't take any toilet, toilet paper, we had a ton at home, uh, but um, yeah, I just needed like fresh fruits, vegetables, and um, milk, a lot of milk, because we go through a lot of it, and since they put limit of only two per customer, we had to go, uh, I had to go and drive to another store that day to stock up on milk, because what, we go through like uh, half a gallon a day, and um like uh, our fridge can stock up only on like half gallons not gallon bottles so like we had to uh go to another store and buy more milk in a different store but as you can see um the lines aren't crazy uh stores are not full because um the restricted number of people that can go to the stores but um, I mean, the line outside is kind of the only thing you have to struggle with. Uh, the checkout line goes pretty fast. Um, the same goes for Trader Joe's as well. Like, as I can see, like, only, like, there was a little bit, uh, in Trader Joe's, my husband said, like, the line was a little bit on the checkout, but not too bad. Not how it was, like, a couple of weeks ago when it was, like, completely terrible. Um, so yeah, that is that. <laughs>
So my husband went to Trader Joe's and here is what he was able to get. And um, I mean, it's nothing crazy. We usually get this kind of stuff from Trader Joe's. Like we don't buy more than we need. Uh, and we will go through this in a month anyway, so just whatever we needed, we got. Um, so he got lots of this hot sauce. He absolutely loves it. He got 10 bottles of it. Well, this will last him probably a month, but, uh, well, maybe two months. But he goes through like a bottle, bottle and a half in like a couple of days, so... He goes through those fast and the peanuts also we go through them really fast so he needed those to get so he got 10 of these and 10 of these and the sumami spice is the one i absolutely love from trader joe's and i put it in everything everything tastes better with it so we had to get four of those it will last about a month and cashews avocados and jalapenos i'm gonna make guacamole out of that sour cream two jars we eat lots of sour cream uh, some cottage cheese and uh, dry bananas baby bananas are absolutely delicious i tried to not eat them too much but the little one eats them like crazy and they're actually well i mean they don't have any other ingredients in them, so I think it's a healthy snack. It's easier to get her to eat these bananas than the regular ones, plus these ones can be stored for a long time. And, um, well, this is something extra that is like kind of a treat for her. And salmon, I'm gonna make salmon uh, twice. I will freeze one and the other one I'll make for dinner either today or tomorrow. We'll see. And just a dozen of eggs because there is a shortage. We still have some eggs but we go through eggs a lot so that's what kind of we needed to get by and try to not go to the store another time this month.